Ding, ding, ding. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another tune in with Clumsy Clairvoyance. I got my little sage and citrus and scent burning just a cleanse area. Today is going to be extremely important or hopefully very meaningful. Pick a deck for a lot of you. Okay, so this one is going to be focusing on what your deceased loved ones have to say to you or the your loved ones who have passed on to the other side, okay? Now, you're going to have three options. Option number one will be here, this abalone shell, okay? Option number two will be this serpentine, aka seraphina, seraphina, crystal slash stone. And then right here we got my badassery, my white jade, my soothing fella, okay? So, like I said, this is going to be messages from, you know, spirits that have moved on that you do in the waking world that have messages for you or may have something to say, okay? So, again, option one, abalone. Number two, the serpentine or aka seraphina crystal slash stone. And number three, the white jade, okay? Please choose with your instincts. Go ahead, if you have to, pause this video, meditate on the question. And let's begin. All right, everybody, and welcome back. For everybody that shows option one, the abalone show right here, it's actually a really good meditative piece as well, okay? Lots of water energy. This is what people traditionally use when they are staging the space, okay? So I'm going to start actually with your guys's Hidden Realms message deck real quick. Let's just go over these. You guys have Sacred Union, Partnership Romance. Okay, so right away I'm going to say maybe this is a significant other or um, maybe even, um, you know, someone you remember, like maybe with your grandpa or you just remember them when they were married or who they were with, the hungry ghosts. Okay, this is all about obsession, secrecy, uh, se se uh, blah, 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 blah. secrecy, consciousness, and attachments. Okay, sometimes this has to do with um, addictions as well, okay? And then we also have the Shadow Queen, acquiring knowledge insecurity and manipulation okay <sighs> so right away I feel like some of you guys um, this could be like I said maybe a lover um, who passed away or someone who you were with in the past or someone that you remembered um, you know as a unit with someone else like they were married to you know your cousin your uncle or your best friend and the hungry ghost is also it's an um, interesting card too because it kind of um, speaks towards habits, um, not being able to break old habits. So, I mean, right away, and then the Shadow Queen acquiring knowledge. Maybe there's some mystery surrounding this death. I'm not for sure. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and dip into the regular tarot card. Your traditional. See what other messages are here for you. What other messages are here for group one? Group one. Well, let's just do a quick look to see what ones have for them right now. Group one. Group one. Nine of Cups. Okay. The Sun. Ace of Wands. Let's keep going. Okay. Five in. Here we go, four swords, okay. So this person might have been in the hospital before they passed away, okay, or they might have been um, sick. They might have been someone who, you know, had a physical condition or something like that. I feel like they brought a lot of um, sunshine into your world. They brought happiness. They had a charming energy, I'm going to say right off the bat, especially with this Knight of Cups energy, okay, someone who could kind of, who was very charismatic, Ace of Rods. This is all about the holding personal growth. Right away, I kind of feel like they're giving you the message, too, that um, don't let what happened to them affect your personal journey and your personal growth. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Any additional messages for group number one? Group number one. Any other messages for their past on loved ones? <sighs> Any other messages for their past on loved ones? Any other messages for their past on loved ones? Group number one. Group 
group number one. Yeah, let me see if there's one in here for them. Group number one. Okay, let's see what we got. You guys also have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this also could be like Big Brother vibing or someone who just took their responsibilities. Um, very much so. Okay, Four of Cups in Reverse. This is kind of a good card because it's talking about snapping out of an energy, snapping out of that energy of, you know, being sad or being jaded, you know, not waking up from, you know, it's kind of like you're just, oh, okay, you know, kind of being non-responsive to everyday blessings or everyday, you know, miracles that are going on around you. But this is the energy of snapping out of that. Nine of Rods, being on the defense. The Hermit, okay. So... I'm going to say this, the message that I'm getting kind of clearly from your loved one that passed on, especially with the tournament, so you might be Virgos, but it's kind of like self-reflection. Um, if you ever want to get in contact with them or be around them, um, self-reflection, pray to them. I feel like they're around you often, especially with the sun card, okay? They might have been a fire sign as well. Um, Leo, maybe Sagittarius or Aries, okay? They have the Nine of Rods, too, which is about being on the defense, standing up for what you believe in. Um, I think they're very proud of you. I just want to say that first and foremost, okay? Especially after that one popped out. But Hermit, they want to know whenever you, any questions that you are seeking in your life, that it's self-reflective. They really feel as though you have the answers. And if you ever want answers from them or to know they're around, pray to them. Or, you know, just talk to them, communicate. You don't necessarily have to pray, but... When you start talking to your spirit guides or the people that do surround you who have passed on, all of them, you will get answers, okay? Now, thank you very much, Group 1. I hope that resonated. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit a big thumbs up, and thank you so much. Okay, for those of you that chose Group Number... Ooh, sorry, I got a little wobbly there. For those of you that chose group number two, this is Serpentine or Serpentine, a.k.a. Or the Serafina. First of all, I just want to say this is a highly, highly spiritual stone slash crystal, okay? This is known to not only awaken your um, psychic or clairvoyant spiritual abilities, but also if you've ever heard of a Hundalini experience or, you know, the old phrase Hundalini rising, which has to do with a serpent going up your back or traveling through your whole body when you do have a spiritual awakening then this is the crystal that you would want with you because it's supposed to apparently it um helps with that uncomfortable feeling that some people do experience when they do have a hundalini experience okay so right away like i said highly spiritual crystal slash stone i'm gonna go ahead and look at your hidden realm deck cards first you guys got Lady of the Gift. Okay. Now, Generosity, Receiving and Withholding. Gaia's Garden is a great one. Fruition, Abundance, Reaping What You Sow. Beautiful cards. Okay. You guys also got the Swan Queen. Transformation, Intuition, intuition and Patience. Okay. So, I really do feel like you guys are extremely, um, maybe even in tune with the people that have passed on in your life who are on the other side or in the spiritual realm and they you are in tune with them you might talk to them often you might you know they might show signs to you whatever case may be i feel like you guys are in tune group number two okay Let's see if your spirit guides what other additional messages they have for you but that guy's garden i'm really seeing that you guys have been putting in a lot of work it's also asking with the swan princess or the swan queen i'm not sure but um, it's asking for patience. Okay, Queen of Swords energy. Okay. Queen of Swords, all right? So this is interesting. This is great energy. Okay, Queen of Swords. This is kind of how I feel like you, most of your spirit guides are viewing you or you view them, okay? Or you're viewing this person who's passed on. Someone who's been through a lot. They don't take no ish. They don't trust very easily, but they are smart. They do love with all of their heart and they're still capable of love, but they do not trust maybe as easily as others okay they've been through a lot a lot of people call this the black widow or the the card of the widower okay she is strong and mighty you don't want to you don't want to mess with her okay seven of swords okay yes yeah, she's been through a lot i feel like they're talking about you they they are seeing that you have been through a lot okay seven of rods okay 
they're, they're calling you a vibing right now that they they feel like you're the underdog okay five of rods okay you might have had some inner conflict or yeah the tower okay so big changes either coming or has happened to you guys you guys got ten of swords you guys are going through some stuff okay let's see what else you guys got two of rods king of swords oh okay if you guys have gone through a breakup or a break at work i'm gonna tell you right now especially when i see this nine of cards i see the two cups in reverse some of you definitely have gone through a breakup okay and they want to know that they are there for you for that or they have been there for you okay we also have king of cups in reverse someone being you know out of out of tune with their emotions we got the two of rods okay you guys also have the king of swords okay so you have the king and the queen that's interesting three pentacles in reverse you guys also have the fall which is ten of swords okay so you guys have had a falling out but you're gonna you're gonna get through it especially with the six of rods it's showing that you come out ahead of the game okay the biggest message for you is when you've been alone crying or you know been desolate by yourself whatever has happened either this is a break i feel like for a lot of you might have had a bad breakup recently maybe even divorced but for a lot of you some of you have had a break between friendships or jobs whatever break has happened you're gonna come out victorious over this you're gonna you're really gonna triumph okay and they want you to know that they're there with you okay so that's gonna be it for group number two please like and subscribe hit that notification bell let me know you want to see more future videos also if you guys have any comments i would so love to hear them please let me know if this resonated okay or if you guys have any ideas for future um pick a deck videos all right thank you group number two all right everybody welcome back for everybody that shows group number three this is my white jade it's an amazing piece jade is a journey crystal slash stone but it's also it's high rank it's nobility it's um a very it's a high stone of tranquility this is also a shamanic stone to some people and subcultures um a lot of the native americans believe that you could actually talk to your um spirit guides um when you meditated or kept jade near you under your pillow wore it all types of stuff so jade i kind of feel like is a highly spiritual stone as well okay so all of you that chose group number three last but certainly not least i want to turn to your hidden realm deck messages first for whoever is coming through for you okay the high lady of love and compassion reverence kindness and consideration this is again like i said the hidden realm deck beautiful card you also have the eagle king the big picture angelic angelic help angelic help i mean it's crazy beautiful illustrations and then you guys also have the sun dances joyful activity celebration life and abundance okay right away i feel like whoever did pass along for you had a lot of joy with them and were kind kind of and i don't want to just stay kind but i mean they just had this i feel like they exuberated exuberated you know kindness and uh, loving fun nature about them and i feel like you guys are similar to group two in the fact that maybe you guys you know pray to them or speak to them often they are very close to you though regardless okay now let's see what additional messages are coming in for you guys for group three. What messages your past on loved ones have for you? Let's go here, here. Okay, so we got Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Rods in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. Let's see what else. Any additional messages for group number three? Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, okay. The Chariot in reverse, okay. Two of Swords. High Priestess in reverse, interesting. Three of Rods, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, The Magician, Three of Swords, and The Fool, okay. Two of Rods. All right, guys. You guys quite got quite a bit in here. I'm going to tell you the ones that are focusing on that are popping out at me the most. Okay. You guys had high priestess in reverse. Okay. This can be sometimes all about not listening to like your inner intuition 
or ignoring the signs. I feel like some of you might have been ignoring the signs when it came to a relationship or a job because I have three of swords, which indicates like um, betrayal. Okay, so your spirit guides are kind of acknowledging that something has happened to you as of recently. This kind of puts you in a spot that's not normally you as well, especially with that queen of rods in reverse and the temperance in reverse. You guys definitely have been hurt recently. Um, you're using, I see that you're still though working really hard. They're trying to, I think what the message is trying to be pulled across right here, especially with this magician, this is all about, you know, using your own power and not being afraid of how powerful and smart and courageous and intuitive and resourceful you can be. Okay. And then you have the eight of pentacles all about, you know, working hard, diligently, three of rods, something's on the horizon for you guys. Okay. Something bigger and better is coming and your past on love one wants you to know that. Also, ace of cups in reverse. They're worried kind of about your emotional state. They don't want you like, you know, they don't want you, you know, wallowing in this loss too much because something bigger and better is out there for you. And <laughs> I love this. This is one of the last cards I pulled for you guys, but the fool they're kind of urging you to step out of the norm and take risks. That's what's so cool about the full card. It's like, you know, love like you've never been lost, you know, cry like you've never been hurt. You know, that whole philosophy it might sound kind of corny, but you know, it could work. It definitely can. They kind of want you to take leaps of faith, um, regardless of what's happened to you. And they're, they surround you. I feel like, especially with that magician showing up. You have the Queen of Pentacles also. I mean, you have this loving, like, mom energy that's surrounding you, okay? And also, your friends are with you. They want you to know that they, that you have people that are surrounding you or you guys have a good set of friends that are with you. So confide in them, okay? That's going to be it for group three. Please make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, let me know if you guys have any, any ideas for future videos. Don't forget to hit that bell. And I love you from Columbus Care. Signing out.